Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. We're doing the second episode of Sim Airport. Now what I've done is I've just fast forwarded a little. We're still in the same uh, 24 hour period as the last episode. So we haven't got any flights coming in yet. That all happens after midnight, okay? So just one thing I had to fix up. Um, let's go down here. So this is the new area we built, so I've removed the wall, then I've added the security uh, room a bit further, the security zone, um, because the people won't be coming through this way, they're going to be coming through the top here. Totally forgot about that, because we need to uh, increase our security zone as we add more gates and we go down for that we don't go up so hence uh to the top here is going to be a corridor for our passengers that have just arrived to the airport to leave bypassing the security so that's what we're going to do today we're going to do some new toilets some new toilets up here this is going to be a corridor we're going to be accepting flights now also the atc tower is built so now we can uh, except more than 10 flights also the Pappy lights the ILS and the light system is all operational so we can even accept flights at night time now so if you don't have these lights on the runway you can't accept any flights from 6 o'clock to the end of 11 p.m. okay once we've done that uh, we can accept flight. So that's that's what we're going to quickly do now. We literally have an hour before the cutoff time. So we can't accept any flights there. They're all large. We've got one small at the PM time. We've got another small one at the PM time. And then we're going to keep going down. We can accept um, two of these noon flights and this pm and let's do one more two more uh late flight i think i think that's enough for the moment so this is for 150 people so we're not going to change we're not going to change the layover time for that that is for 90 we can change that we're going to go to an hour and a half layover time this is for 140, we're going to keep that there as well. That can just go there. And then our last PM flight is for 75. Again, that can just go to an hour and a half, okay? Oh, we have another one. 140, so that's going to just stay... That's going to stay the, the two hours. Two hour layover time. That can go there. We can put a little gap. And that's fine. And then we have this flight for our noon arrival. It is 140, so we're not going to touch that. And then this is for 140 as well, so we're not going to touch that. So there we go. And we can spread this out. Okay. Now, the good thing about this game is if you have this gap and this flight leaves, okay, just say it leaves on time, it could even leave earlier. This flight here, it's scheduled for 2.10, okay? Let's make that 2 o'clock. It's scheduled for 2 o'clock, but it might turn up early. And it can now because it has this buffer, okay? So, always remember that your flights, if there's uh, a little bit of a buffer between, they will turn up early, okay? So, that's fine. That's, that's plenty of planes for us for the moment. Obviously, the goal is to make money, and to make money, we're going to have to add more gates. So that's the plan. But remember, foundations are super expensive. Now, the last thing we need to do, we've got 15 minutes, is add another staff member. And that's all we do, okay? We require four, we have four, tick, okay? We're going to go into more detail about that very soon. But that's it. Um... We could even, we should have time. Let's go to objects, operations. 
and we're going to add one more security gate okay so we need a metal detector and it has an arrow on top so make sure that's facing the right way okay we can do a little bit of a gap just just for the moment and then this is all we have access to is this uh this particular bag scanner okay there is a larger one a remote bag scanner um Uh, I thought we had to research that. Maybe, maybe not. No, we don't. So we can, we can go bigger if we want. Okay. And then of course, every, look, you can have the one gate. They'll go up to this uh, ID check and you can have them just go to this one and this one at the same time. But we're going to have two, just to, um, split up the uh, customers and uh, let, let it flow a little bit better, okay? So make sure that's um, turned. Let's uh, de dismantle this. We don't need this. Our passengers are going to come any minute now. Now we need three more security. It's not going to tell us that yet because it hasn't been built, but we can get ready, okay? There we go. So because it's after midnight now, guys, you've rebuilt a shop, you've rebuilt a cafe, uh, if we uh, took on more flights, none of that will take effect in these next 24 hours. Like stock for the shops, it won't come. You have to wait until the end of the day for that to happen, okay? So... We can fast forward a little bit now. So, usually they'll turn up at 3 o'clock. Now, as you can see, all of our staff are just standing around doing nothing. Okay? We're going to rectify that because if we have a look at staff, every hour this is costing us to have staff just standing around. Okay? So, $80 per person for this staff member. $240 per hour for the security. $14 an hour for janitors. Uh, and then we don't have any of these, so it doesn't matter. Workmen are the exception, okay? You can't dictate uh, what hours of the day they work. They're always here. So just be wary of that. Don't go straight away and hire 20 workers, 30 workers. Because yes, they will construct a whole heap of stuff really quickly. But every hour, $250 will be removed. Okay? So just be wary of that. So here we go. We have customers. And look, uh, security set up, but we don't have a queue here. So let's add that. Otherwise, there'll be mayhem. Alright? So we can do that. We just need to go to... Now, if you have this issue, I, I can't get to the, I can't get to the uh, stand. Just press tab, and it, and it will go through what's underneath your cursor. Okay, so we want that. We go to assign, assign to the queue, and we're going to accept all passengers still. And that's it. Okay, there is more uh, you can do with assigning. So we can assign um, this ID check. To this scanner and then this scanner to this particular uh, bag scanner okay we can also assign this gate to this particular ticketing outlet so we can have three or four separate ticketing outlets and so this ticketing outlet could be just for this uh, gate so this might be a Qantas gate that's a brand in America in Australia this might be for American Airlines, and then we can assign that to a second ticketing gate uh, or ticketing area, okay? But that's down the track. You have to research all that, okay? And we're going to have a look at that today as well. Um, so first of all, we want to make this corridor, okay? So let's go to uh, planning, okay? So what I'm going to do, security will slowly edge its way down here, okay? 
uh, to be bigger every time we add gates, all right? If you don't expand your security and you add gates, you're gonna have a massive backlog, all right? But we're gonna have a toilet here. It's gonna be a hallway too wide. And it's gonna be a toilet four wide. So there we go. It's gonna be six down. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So this is going to be our toilet. Our new toilet block, right? Now, to figure out where we can build here, because you, you have a uh, limited area where you can build next to taxiways and to playing gates. So what we do, we just grab foundation and then we move across until this square goes red. So we can't build there, so we can build up to here. And then we can't build any further up there, so we can build to there and then across. And that's what we're going to do. Okay. So that's a good that's a good uh, way of finding out where you need to build. And then of course that's as far as we can build there. So straight down pretty much. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Okay, so let's get let's get this foundation built. We're not in a real what rush. Now look at this. Look how crowded they are at uh, our what are they called? Vending machines. They're smashing it, right? Now there's a few ways we can figure out when the next flight is coming. Okay, we can just hover over the gate. This is telling us the first flight is at six o'clock. Which is 30 minutes away okay but the, no doubt they'll turn up early which is great and then again here we've got one at six o'clock this has more flights than this one here so that's fine final approach there they're landing we can have a look at that there they are there's our first flight ever for this airport there's our second that is bloody beautiful and there we go they're coming in and this this is what happens okay so our passengers they're all through security so here look look to the left here these guys have gone straight to the ticketing kiosk okay these guys have luggage they want to put through so that's why they're there if we didn't have these kiosks everyone would be lining up here it'd be absolute mayhem now these guys are boarding so that's great we can hover over it so the plane has already been cleaned and the previous customers have come off. The baggage has been unloaded. So that's been unloaded by our workers here. So there we go. That's happening. So at the moment, while we're allocating flights, we have to be wary of that. That our workers are walking the luggage from the ticketing zone all the way to the gate. So as we build further and further away from ticketing, then it's going to take them longer to walk. And so that's when you start thinking of building baggage claim and uh, what are they called? Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, the baggage carousels and all the uh, conveyor belts. Okay. Now, now they're boarding. So that's boarded. Fully boarded, 47 passengers. We are waiting for luggage to be boarded and it's done. Luggage has been added. Same here. We're waiting on two more customers. And now we're just waiting on the luggage and it's been delivered as we speak. So there we go. A successful um, acceptance of our first two flights. Passengers have come off, luggage has been removed. New passengers have been put on, their luggage has been popped on the plane, and off it goes. So there we go, 100% boarded. And, and look at this, look at this. We can, we can bring up this screen. So our first flight, both of these were due for arrival at 6 o'clock. They rocked up early. And they could do that because the gates were free, all right? They left at 6.10. They weren't due to leave us until 7.30. 
This one left at 622. It wasn't due to leave until 8 o'clock. So we've got a massive buffer there where we can squeeze the layover time now if we want. We can go and uh, fiddle around with that and then accept more planes and make more money, okay? So always always have a play around with it. And then if you find out uh, my plane's running late now, I'm still waiting for passengers, my workers aren't moving the luggage fast enough, then you need to think, uh, we'll go back and we'll expand that layover time, okay? So always have fun, always play around with it. Now, so at the moment, we are making money through these ad revenue, okay? This will change. Obviously, this is our first day with passengers. We're making money with uh, vending machines. I don't think we make any money on this. No, we don't. So the phone charger is a, a free thing that we offer our customers, okay? So we're making money through the ad revenue, through vending machines, and accepting flights. Commercial pricing, okay? Now, at the moment, this this is as good as it's going to get for us. 53%. It might jump up to 54%. It's because we haven't got uh, the facilities in our airport that the airports want. And it's going to take time. And it costs a lot of money. So, that's not going to happen. As long as this is above 52%, I always increase this price. Just by two. So, at the moment, uh, the runway usage income per flight... Is only four hundred dollars, okay? And then the terminal usage income is ten dollars per passenger, okay? So if the plane comes in, it lands, it's got ten passengers. We're going to get four hundred dollars for the plane landing. I'm going to get a hundred dollars for having the ten passengers on there. No, that's not enough. So we're going to increase this by two, and I'm going to increase this to be in line with this. Save new price. Done. Okay. This shouldn't drop, and if it does, it'll drop by one percent. But don't worry, we're going to we're going to continuously expand. We're going to add other facilities. The airport's going to be happy with us, so don't don't worry about it. Well, not the airport, the airline. Okay, so we also need to do a toilet for here because we're we're removing all of these three toilets. So let's go to planning, walls, so this is exact, I want to be four across but I want to be six up, alright, and then again we're going to go up, there we go, so that's going to be two more toilets there, yep that's right. So let's go to construction, foundation, and then let's build this. Okay. Yeah, that's eleven thousand dollars. Okay. This it's pretty close to the same. Maybe fifteen thousand dollars. So be really, really careful. So there we go, we're making some money. Not a lot. Okay, so at the moment we have a profit of thirty-six thousand a day we, that's that's not that's not acceptable okay we need to make more money than that so the way we're going to do that we're going to add another gate and we're going to do a government grant and we're going to just we've probably got time just to do one government grant so that's what we're going to do now passenger experience is a good one to go with straight away airline services this one i leave totally to the end okay because the things they want you to do, you need a lot of money to complete it, okay? So don't even think about doing airline services. Investment isn't too bad. You can do a couple of these in the beginning. So this first one, with no upfront cost, and there's a possible reward of 2,500. That's easy money, right? But the next one, upfront costs $50,000. So again, this is something we do now and then. Airport efficiency, uh, we can do as well. This is, uh, well, we can definitely do the first one. The second one requires a second runway. That's probably a bit further down the track. And then maximize profits. Um, yeah, this, 
This one's a good one because it introduces you to the research tree. So it requires you to research some um, technology uh, and also to take on loans. So don't worry, you will take a loan on at the start, okay? But you pay it off and then this encourages you to pay loans off and then you uh, end up finishing the grant. So yeah. So definitely do passenger experience, maximize profits, uh, airport efficiency, you, you can kind of dip your toe in, same with investments, but airline services, leave this bad boy to the end, okay? Unfortunately, it has the highest reward. So by finishing the airline services, you get the EAM flights. So that's these flights here. So this is locked out to us at the moment which is a pity, but we have all of this and then we can add gates and we can accept more flights, so that's fine, okay? So, passenger experience, we're gonna do the first one. Hire at least two janitors, place 10 bins, get a person environment satisfaction of at least 60%, okay? So we already have two janitors. We've already placed 10 bins. And the 60% satisfaction is this up here, okay? So passengers satisfaction at the moment is 57%, but it's rising. We've got three green plus signs, okay? So we're gonna accept that. And there we go, we're 60% done. We're just waiting for this 60% satisfaction and that will happen, okay? Now, so the last thing to finish off this uh, episode, guys, is I'm going to discuss Staff scheduling overlay. This thing took me so long to figure out. It, I, I, I did the tutorial twice. Maybe it's just me. I had, I'm reading it. It doesn't kind of have any videos to explain it. And I finally watched uh, another YouTuber and figured it out. Okay, so this scheduler helps us remove our staff members at the end of the day so we're not paying them all that money every hour okay so we need two things we need uh the f not that we need the flight management okay and we need the staff scheduler okay so this is how you do it so at the moment it's daytime everyone works okay now what we need is we only need workers from six o'clock to midnight, okay? We do want them to come a little bit early, okay? Because our first flight is at six, so we really want security and ticketing to be open before then, right? And remember, they can, well, they can't turn up early because we don't have this open, but they will eventually. So we're going to have our workers rock up at four. And don't worry, passengers will start rocking up at three o'clock. That's fine. Just let them be. That's fine. So four o'clock. So what we need to do, we go to this plus sign here. We press plus. We name your schedule. So we're going to say no work. Okay. No work. Create. And then we have it here. Okay. So we have two tabs now. We have daytime where workers are going to be here and we have night time okay we can get rid of this uh overlay now now this is important okay so for this staff which is our ticketing ladies or gentlemen and our gate uh staff okay this is what we're we're managing at the moment so no work from three o'clock to midnight they're not going to be here so we're going to save one two three four hours of work okay I can't remember how much we're charging maybe like 80 bucks I think it was an hour so we're gonna save a total of $80 every hour for four hours okay but that's not all you do this is where I was like well I've done that right but they're still here this is what you have to do okay so when you click on the no work tab you have to hover over the actual work area and then press the right mouse button and see it goes to zero okay again zero again we're over the gate agent desk zero zero now watch this 
you go to the daytime tab it says one 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 okay so daytime people are going to be there nighttime no one's going to be there okay and then we do that for all of our staff so security same thing and it's already already been created okay so we go to work we go from three to midnight they're not going to work all right and then we can zoom in we need to hover over the metal dis detector and then press the right mouse button again bag scanner and we're bringing that unit down to zero okay that was the trick they don't explain that and even the guy i was watching didn't explain it he was just doing it and i just noticed that he was doing it okay now retail workers you do the same thing they have their cash register you hover over the cash register you change it to zero okay chef same thing you just hover over the kitchen zone change it to zero now what you need to make sure of now which they also don't explain okay the janitor so here the janitor this is her his or her garbage zone that's one person working there okay if we go exit out of this this is really important okay really important if we go and hire a janitor okay we want four janitors now this is overkill but this is an example four janitors see how it says four out of one even though you're accepting it okay it's gone four to four but now if you go to staff schedule overlay it is now changed to four sometimes it will still stay at one and then you're like i just hired three staff members where are they make sure you go to uh janitor on the menu here go over to garbage and then just press the left mouse button to increase this to four okay so four janitors assigned to that garbage all right just be be wary of that i did i did have that happen to me where i hired a couple more janitors and i noticed the whole airport was getting a whole lot of rubbish everywhere and it was because that wasn't changed all right um i believe it changes by default but when you start messing around with the management of the staff it just stays at the previous number and you have to add it yourself sometimes in that case it did it by itself but sometimes it won't do it so just be wary of that okay that that is it the toilet's been made when we come back i will have the toilets um rearranged up here and then down here two new toilets and then this will be a corridor but i won't complete the corridor because there's a little item we require to make sure that our exiting passengers use this area only okay and that it also keeps the right hand side of our airport secure okay but there we go we've still got planes coming in that's great we're making money all right thirty five thousand dollars that's great and we're going to slowly add some more gates we're going to do some shops we're going to do a cafe um and slowly expand make more money we're going to go up we're going to go up a level we're going to accept larger flights we're going to get the large gate we're going to get the extra large gate we're going to do everything so there we go i hope this has been informative please leave any comments below if i didn't explain something uh well enough let me know i'll get back to you thanks guys enjoy your week uh have a great weekend and i'll see you monday cheers I know we got